Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Two rider ramblings in one week. Though it might not come out in the same week. I'm um, under the knife tomorrow, um, which is. Uh, Interesting. Never mind. I'll start again. Yes, I'm under the knife tomorrow, so I'm not sure when I'll be riding motorcycles again. In theory, it's Monday. Um, in theory. But it very much depends. I have a, an allergy to certain anaesthetics. Um, so, if I have a bad reaction to the anaesthetic, I'm going to have a bit of a problem on Monday. So, we will see. Anyhow, I'm off to the office. It's beautiful. It says it's 21 degrees, but... I don't actually believe that. I think it's probably closer to about 25 degrees at the moment. Yeah, the thing on the uh, the dashboard is saying 21. Well, I think we're going to see that climb a bit later. We're supposed to get 28 today, which is uh, pleasant. Um... We are. It's it. The the problem with May is quite simply the differences in the temperature. Uh, I mean, it was ten degrees this morning. Uh, twelve degrees. Ten, twelve degrees. So. It's a bit chilly. And, um, then, sorry, somebody spilt some gravel all over the ground. I'm, uh, concentrating on the gravel. Uh, should be concentrating on the right. I see that they've gone off to the, the left and I'm actually going right. Once Charlie in his, um, Citroen has decided what it is. So, anyhow, yes, um temperatures. So yes, in the mornings, of course, it's sort of 10, 12 degrees. And we've then got 27 or 28 degrees in the uh, afternoon, which is more than double the, uh, the morning temperature. So the problem is, of course, what do you wear? Um, I'm quite lucky in this jacket I've got is um, a well thought out and well designed jacket but the execution of it whoever made it um, was probably a YTS student uh, or something like that if you remember YTS from the 1970s I think it was might have been the 1980s, can't remember. So it's actually a very, very well thought out jacket and I would thoroughly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a motorcycle jacket. It's um, an Ixon, also known as Icon. Um, they have two names, the brand, Ixon and Icon. And... Um, it's a, I would say it's a three season jacket, but you can actually use it four season with a bit of prior planning. And I actually do use it four season with a, a little bit of prior planning. Uh, it's absolutely fantastically well ventilated uh, with zips and fold out panels and this type of thing, all of which you can fold back again um, and 
so you can actually stop the ventilation and then it's got a, a waterproof drop liner uh, which is also semi windproof which is great for the very cold well the colder mornings um, on that and then it's actually got a, a a thermal liner which you can zip into that it's got lots and lots of pockets and the pockets are well thought out uh, the two inside ones are waterproof the outside ones are not waterproof um, but as you can see it's got lots of these zips that open up um, there's arms and then there's zips that open up on the back and then flaps that fold down and this type of thing that make it into a true ventilated jacket um, which is really really good um, I say to make it in oh grief to make it into a true four season jacket I put a, a B&Q waterproof um, nylon over jacket over the top of it um, and because it's this B&Q nylon over jacket thingy is uh, waterproof and windproof completely waterproof and windproof um, it actually means that you can use uh, you can use good grief that is dangerous it really is they need to do something with that um, anyhow so uh, we nearly had a, an accident with a red car there going the wrong way uh, so you can put this waterproof jacket on it and it'll take it down to sort of minus two, minus three, uh, and you're quite comfortable with that. And of course, because it's waterproof, it's also very good for um, when it rains, because the outside uh, of this is actually designed to get wet. Um, it does have a sort of waterproof, no, showerproof coating to it. I'm going to showerproof coating um, on it, but it's not really designed as a as a full waterproof item. So um, putting a, as I say, this nylon waterproof jacket over the top is a good idea. And uh, fixes that. Don't know what's up today. We seem to have Mr. and Mrs. Idiot and his wife out on the road today for some reason. No idea why. But uh, it's... Uh, what have we seen so far? Three idiots so far, yep. And uh, I've only really been on the bike ten minutes. Uh, hopefully... Uh, we won't see any more, but uh, I'm not going to bet on it. Anyhow, getting back to the jacket. So, yeah, I would thoroughly recommend this. Now, as I say, I believe it was actually manufactured by a, a YTS student because although in general most of the jacket is fine, absolutely fine, um, one of the seams on the pocket has uh, come adrift. Not a, a big deal um, and easily fixed. And one of the buttons, they have a, a sort of covering over them. And the covering has come off. Um, and it seems that you can't get this little covering from anywhere and they don't supply it in the, the kit of bits that you get usually with a jacket that covering is not part of the, the kit of bits 
so it does mean that uh, it's like that now it doesn't really worry me um, these two items don't really worry me um, because the jacket actually is so good and it is adjustable say the venting on the back is is phenomenal um, and I've ridden it in temperatures up to about 40 degrees um, I used to with my other jacket I used to put on a summer jacket which I still have which is a complete ventilated jacket but I found that with this one I don't need to and because it's got ample pockets and so on I can carry all the usual detritus that you need to carry because in France you've got to carry your motorcycle documents your license your ID your passport um, various other bits and pieces as well so um, that sort of fills up one inside pocket well, and then you've got your wallet in the other inside waterproof pocket and then things like keys and spare mask and things like that are uh, in various other pockets oh dear somebody's binned it so that's fun anyhow yes so go for this uh, I would go for this jacket even though, as I say, one of the seams on the pocket has come apart. It's not a, a big deal and it was easily fixed with a needle and thread. I uh, can't remember how much it was, about 450 euros or something like that. So about 400 quid, I would say. Uh, when you're spending that type of money, in theory, they shouldn't be these niggles. Uh, they shouldn't occur but uh, they did but as I say I'm in, in general I'm happy with it I've had it for two and a half years I've worn it I'm not going to say every day because we've had this lurgy um, which has stopped a lot of the travelling so I've used it a lot less but I've certainly done in excess of 30,000 kilometers, 15,000 miles wearing it. And I'm actually very happy with that, and probably even more than 15,000 kilometers on that. Um, so yeah, I would uh, recommend it. Anyhow, yes, uh, so I'm uh, getting back to the first topic, I'm under the knife on uh, tomorrow morning. So, in theory, I'm back at work on Monday. In practice, it depends on the reaction to the anaesthetic that I have um, and how much the anaesthetist wants to keep me in hospital to monitor, monitor my reaction. Uh, but we'll see. Anyhow, I'll say thank you very much. As per usual, I'll uh, leave the camera running because it looks very much like we are going to have an idiot do something stupid up ahead. But in the meantime, I'll say thanks very much. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Your likings and subscribings really, really do help the channel. So I would be very grateful if you would uh, like and or subscribe. If you subscribe and hit the little bell button, you'll notified when the next video comes out. Okay, let me concentrate on what these idiots are doing down here. Cheerio.